They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? Welcome back to the Hill Squirrel YouTube channel. And today is Michelin Web Monday. And today we're doing Michelin Web Alien Invasion. Just kind of going through a bunch of save stuff I had from these guys. This might be the only one that I have that uh, I haven't done yet. I know there's still more, but as far as the ones I have saved. So let's uh, let's dig into this and uh, see. It's just a quick one. It's quick. It's a, it's a Monday in and out. We're just going to get it done. Get the hell out of here. All right, here we go. This is Alien Invasion. Business news now, and the Bank of England have announced interest rates are set to I'm arrive. sorry, Paul, I'm going to have to interrupt you there. We're just getting reports of some astonishing breaking news. It appears that an invasion of the Earth by an unknown but vastly powerful extraterrestrial aggressor is underway. <laughs> Details are sketchy, but reports are pouring in from across the world of vast, metallic, crab-like creatures laying waste to all they encounter. <laughs> So, a massive and unstoppable alien attack threatens the Earth. What's your reaction? Are you affected by the end of civilization as we know it? What's your perspective? Maybe you live on Earth or know someone who does. How do you feel about it? Email us with your thoughts on your imminent molecular evaporation at bbc.co.uk slash emergency apocalypse address, all one word, and let us know. <laughs> And already, this issue seems to be one that's provoked a lot of comment. Lucinda Richards from London <laughs> asks, Will these so-called aliens be required to pay the congestion charge? <laughs> they invaded 28 seconds ago. We already want to know. Somehow, I think not. <laughs> it's one rule for us and another rule for alien beings. And Early form of Karen's. And Gerard from Dover called our letter line number to say, As someone approaching my 80th birthday, I think I'm entitled to comment, Twas ever thus. <laughs> I can remember when a certain Mr. Hitler bethought himself to overthrow this sceptered isle, and like him, I think these aliens might find that simple British folk are rather harder to conquer than. And then it just tails off into screams. <laughs> uh, a quick update for any of you, for some reason, more interested in the news than what some people you don't know think about the news. London has fallen to the aliens. But more importantly, I can also tell you that Sophie from Manchester says, say what you like about the alien killer crabs, but by God, they can organize an invasion. <laughs> we have a lot to learn from them, though we'd better be quick. And lastly, on a lighter note, Carl from Aundel writes, where's Doctor Who when you need him? In fiction, I imagine. <laughs> He's right there. Worst luck. <laughs> yes, indeed, because we're running out of time, both on the program and just generally. My producer tells me that the giant alien crabs have breached TV centre and will imminently vaporise us all. And remember, if you want to see that for yourself, why not log on to our behind-the-scenes webcam? <laughs> Simply go to bbc.co.uk slash watch us fry, all one word, and click on... It's amazing the website's already set up, the emails are already set up. These guys act fast, you know? And if, who better to tell us that the aliens are coming to kill us all? And these two jackasses. Um, I uh, it was quick. It was painless. It was funny. It was very funny. Um, and uh, everything is destroyed. It's the end of it. Somebody better get a hold of Bruce Willis. Tell him it's time to come out of retirement. We got some problems we need to fix. I uh, I thought it was cute. It was quick. It was cute, but it was fun. You guys, I hope that uh, you had a great weekend, and I hope that your Monday started out great today. And uh, I hope you'll come back tomorrow for another uh, reaction. Guys, be good, all right? Take care of yourselves. Till we meet again. Scroll out.